What am I doing with an old crib in the wood shop? All right, let's find out. All right, welcome to the wood shop, everybody. Okay, so we got some crib parts here. What can we do with this? All right, so a lady I work with says that she wants me to make a bench out of this old crib some of these crib parts i don't have all of it but this is what i got okay so the idea for this uh is a uh, photo that she showed me and i'll show it to you now okay so there's the photo so that's kind of what we're going for here so basically what this is going to be is we're going to take this piece and leave it alone we're going to take this piece and we're going to split it right through there and this will become the two sides and so they'll be here and here i'm not sure um, what i'm going to do with this yet so we're going to put this over to the side and then we'll be coming off so it'll be a bench that's about that wide so we'll have to come up with some uh something for a floor maybe something for a front i don't know maybe we'll use that for a front i did get these um pieces off the uh off the side of the uh, street in the neighborhood here uh, somebody was throwing out it's like an old bed or something other so maybe we can use some of this wood um, for that so anyway that's the plan so let me get started hey Rico Rico's checking it out and um, so we're gonna get started on this and I'm not gonna show you everything but I'll show you when I make a little progress here and kind of where we're headed with this and uh, maybe help somebody out so hold on all right so I made a little bit of progress I cut split my thing and uh, so we got one side, we got another side. And so what we'll have to do now is uh, fill in this here, uh, you know, try to replicate um, what's here on the back corner and there. And then after we get that kind of fabricated and looking okay, we won't attach anything and probably gonna cut these legs off just slightly to kind of match the thing so it won't be all even. We'll drop it down just a little bit and then we'll work, start working on the floor. All right, so a little progress. So if you remember, there was a bottom piece. And so what I did was I um, took it apart and I cut down the spindles. Here's a, you see it. And I just cut it and then I reassembled it. So I used the front, so it kind of looks like a baby bed and I left a gap at the bottom. Um, so that'll be just kind of a front piece um so i did that uh, i thought that turned out pretty neat i kind of respaced it a little bit and then i put on my side pieces just kind of replicate this look here i didn't want to just lop it off uh, so that replicated that also gave it a little bit of strength to that side all right so i did that you know, on both sides and so now what i'll do is i'll work on the uh, actual bench part uh the part you sit on so i'll do that next all right, well there it is, finished up. Uh, got the um, got the table at the top finished, and so what I did was um, I actually took advantage of um, this piece here because it see it's got a dado in it, and so I just cut my things down and I just used it like that, and I put a little gap between it, and uh, so there you go. And uh, so really, the seat part. Is independent of the cradle of the bed baby bed um, the baby bed is just really not strong enough so I actually put legs I put my own leg system and tied it back to there so really it's its own little stool and there's a little cross pieces up in the top I probably you probably can't see it but there's a little cross piece on each side and then it's screwed to each side so it's really sturdy um, so there it is the baby bed slash cradle to bench idea with this one so uh thanks for checking it out with me and um hopefully she'll like it i think she will so uh thanks for stopping by the wood shop take it easy